practice for the saw method roses block. Like a rosebud opening to the light, this block creates a great pattern, combining the traditional square window with rhombic and triangular shapes. A stunning result that you must try. With only three units, you make one mini block, and then you place them together, turning each mini block 90 degrees to create the block. Check out the seam section as you will be using the Y seam on each mini block. Templates Download and print the template. Uh, download the PDF with the templates uh, to your preferred device and then send it to your printer. You will find the link down below in the description. Uh, take the templates section to find all the info. In this case, you have pages to print. Make sure you have them loaded into the printer. If you're going to use them directly for cutting and pressing, print them on custom. If you're going to make them in template plastic, print them on paper and then prepare them with, the, with plastic. Understand the info. Now that you have all the sheets printed, let's look at each one so you have a clear idea of all the information they contain. On the first one, you have a skin that shows you the block and what units make it up. In this way, you can identify the units and keep them in order, knowing exactly their place in the block. Down below, you will have the templates to cut unit A, the base of the units, and the template W1 and W2 for the other pieces. To avoid confusion, the base templates of each unit have indication to correctly place the folded pieces. On the second sheet, you will find the templates for unit B, Y the base of the unit and the template W1 and W2 for the four pieces. On the third, you have all the templates for B left unit. On the fourth sheet, you have the window templates to cut without single lines. You will use the numbers of each template when you make the project. Making the templates. You already understand all the information on the sheets, so let's prepare the templates. Check the template section to learn how to make it. Pieces Preparing the muslin Check the cutting techniques section to learn how to prepare the fabric before cutting. Prepare the muslin so that it is straight and without the selvage. Press well, maybe add a little starch to make it easier to stack several layers of fabric in one stack. Check that the edges are lined up and that you are not missing fabric in any of the layers. Cutting the pieces. Arrange the templates of the stack of fabric and check that uh, the green line is aligned with the grain of the fabric. Place the ruler over the template, aligning it with the edge of each one. Cut carefully the bases and the folded pieces W1 and W2 for four units A four units B left and four units B right. Remember that in the cutting technique section you will find more instructions. Also, cut window number one one time, window number two four times, and number three four times. Organize the pieces, keep all the pieces in order and place the template on top of each stack to know which piece it is. Units. To make this block, we are going to work with three units, A, B left, and B right. You've already cut the pieces needed to build this unit, so let's get started. Choose one of the units to start. Look at the pile of pieces you have and take the basis of this, of this unit. Take also the W2 and W1 that correspond to this unit. Start pressing the folded pieces following the fold line indicated on the template. Fold at one end and press to the other, being careful not to distort the bias of the fabric. When you have the two pieces folded, uh, place them over the base in the way indicated by the template. You set these units aside and continue to work in the same way with all the remaining units. Always remember to keep the units in order and use the templates 
to identify them and place them over the stack of pieces. When you finish joining in all the parts, prepare the sewing machine to sew the units. Take each unit carefully and place it under the presser foot. Align the border with a quarter of an inch mark or follow the sewing line on the template. Start sewing respecting this margin all the way around the units, join the three pieces neatly. Be careful where the folded pieces meet. As you sew the units, keep them in order so you don't get confused. Use the template as labels by placing them on the stack of units that you are finishing. When you have all the units done, start joining them together. Place the units guided by the skin as if it were a puzzle. When you finish, organize the units into small groups as indicated in the skin. Now, we're going to sew unit A with units B, left and right. For this, we will use the Y seam technique. You can consult the seam section for more information. Start sewing at a quarter of an inch from the edge, back stitch, and continue sewing until you reach the other point, a quarter of an inch too. This is point B in the skin. Open the units and press the seam allowance down. Change the seam. Now join unit B right with unit A and sew in the same way, leaving point B open. Press and trim in the same way. Now Take the two B units and sew them together, leaving point B open. Press the seam, open and trim. You have a mini block. Repeat this step for the remaining three mini blocks. Take two of these mini blocks and put them together, guiding you with the skin. Match the seam and sew. Take care that all the joints are aligned. Trim and press again. Do the same with the other two mini blocks. Join and sew these two parts. Trim and press carefully. You have finished the block. Application Window Templates Cutting Prepare the templates and cut the pieces of fabric. Remember that you don't have the seam allowance for the windows. The edges are wrapped in the frame when applying. Place the fabric inside the window frame and secure it with a pin. Fold the fabric of the frame over the edge of the window fabric. Straighten to form the window frame. You can sew it by machine or by hand. Now, take the apply in the window section for step-by-step -step instructions. Get ready for the project. To analyze the practice, you can use the table practice with muslin that you will find in the resources section. Take note that, uh, of each aspect, whether or not you achieved your goal, uh, the level of difficulty you experienced and the time it took to do it. Analyze the process and see if you need more practice. Take note of the points where you have struggled and consider what changes you could make to overcome them. With all the information you have, you cannot complete the time management table for your project. Check the resources section for more information. Read the tutorial instructions carefully and identify the different stages. Visualize each task based on your practice with Muslim spirits. Assign the schedule according to your daily routine uh, and start little by little gradually incorporating these new activities. Choose the duration of each task so that you can perform it and according to your experience in practice. If it takes you an hour to complete the block, for example, don't give the task a half an hour duration. Take into account mm, the stages that you have found difficult in practice. Consider repeating the practice before starting the project. If not, keep this in mind and pay more attention when doing the task. Now, go to the project section and let's get started.